Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. receive the host for this ceremony, Chief Superintendent Debbie Glatz, Executive Manager, Education and Training. She'll be met by the Commander, Recruit and Policing Skills Group, Superintendent Andy Morrow. Mr. Ian Stewart, who will be greeted by the host, escorted to the dais and received by the parade with a general salute. Official guest, the Honourable Jack Dempsey, MP, Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services. He'll be welcomed by the Commissioner, escorted to the dais, and accorded a general salute.
Undoubtedly, the highlight of our program is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the recruits on parade today. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for this very reason. Before a recruit begins to perform their duties as a constable of police, there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual recruit to pledge their loyalty to our Sovereign Queen Elizabeth II. The member then subscribes to the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned police officer. This segment, referred to as an induction, is the transition from the learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the process, each member is presented with a wallet containing their identity card and official police badge. Table officers, please fall in. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the formal undertaking of the oath and affirmation of office by the graduating recruits. The administering of this pledge is delivered by the Commissioner of Police in accordance with the prescribed regulation. I invite my colleagues to reaffirm their allegiance to our Sovereign by reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade. Preface by the word I state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God, Swear by Almighty God. <laughs> that I will well and truly serve, I will well and truly serve. My, sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, my sovereign Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, According to law in the office of constable, or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted, or reduced, without favour, affection, malice, or ill will, from this date until I am discharged. That I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. That I will prevent, to the best of my power, all offences against the same. And that, while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I will, to the best of my skill and knowledge, Discharge all duties legally imposed upon me. Faithfully and according to law. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Stewart. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please be seated. Table officers, please be seated. Today, we are inducting 94 recruits into the service. Their training included instruction in the areas of legislation, driver training, physical skills education, computer training, and firearms and officer safety. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are comprised of sworn police officers with years of operational experience and staff members 
who come from an academic and instructional background. All facilitators possess the skills required to teach in accordance with the high educational requirements for this training establishment. The intake coordinator is Acting Senior Sergeant Trevor Wendt. Trevor is an experienced police officer with 37 years service. He's a policing skills instructor currently seconded to the recruit training unit. fiftieth anniversary celebrations, specially designed tables have been made for the ceremonial aspect of the recruits subscribing to their oath of service. These tables have been made from Queensland Blackbud Timber. The signature metal police badges featured on the front complement the handcrafted creations. Additionally, a symbolic part of the design and manufacture process was to infuse each table with a small powdered portion from each tree in the Avenue of Remembrance as a way to honour and remember the service of all the officers who have died in the line of duty serving the state of Queensland. a symbol given to the police service by the people of Queensland in recognition of 150 years of exemplary loyal and dedicated law enforcement. This significant icon honours the service given by the men and women who have contributed to helping make Queensland a safe and secure place to live, visit and do business. It is carried on all ceremonial parades as a sign of respect given to the citizens of our state. Today's banner party is composed of facilitators from the recruit training unit. The privilege of carrying the banner today is given to Sergeant Lisa Duncan. The escorts for the banner are Sergeant Pierre Mulvey and Sergeant Janet Woodhouse. has an internal blue and white checkered ribbon surrounded by an antique silver metallic frame. The blue is the same colour used in all Queensland Police Service insignia given in recognition of ethical and diligent service. 
The checker design is traditional and used to represent police. Etched into the metallic frame are the words Queensland Police printed above the colour and the numerals 1864 to 2014 written below. To commemorate the sesquicentennial anniversary of our organisation, a book has been produced by our museum curator, Ms Lisa Jones and her staff. The book is titled, Police in Queensland, 1864 to 2014, 150 years. This manuscript captures the pictorial history of operational policing and other related events as the organisation evolved throughout the period. The book, available in hard or soft cover, will make a great gift, especially for the graduating constables who are commencing their new careers. It's available for sale today, and the Commissioner will be available to sign your copy if you wish to purchase a record of our history. to acknowledge our award recipients on their achievements during the recruit program. These recruits are Ducks Award, Craig Batty, Leadership Award, Benjamin Conlon, Achievement Award, David Jones, Operational Skills Award, Kelsey Barker, Traffic Award, Darren Goodwin, Physical Skills Award, Helen Goody, and Community Service Award joint recipients, Hayley Robinson and Ryan Packenham. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Table officers, please fall out.
ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Stewart will now present his executive award. This honour is given to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency and professionalism in the recruit program. Assessment is accredited on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results and commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. The Commissioner's Award recipient for Intake 2 of 2014 is Constable Christopher Brooks. Ladies and gentlemen, Constable Brooks. The Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics supports our vision and purpose, the priorities and qualities of the QPS, namely courage, fairness and pride, and to deliver quality policing services. It is a commitment that every member of the service undertakes in accordance with the standard of practice, the code of conduct and the functions of the service under the Police Service Administration Act. The Statement of Ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner of Police, his colleagues and the greater community and an acceptance by the individual officer to practice high standards of conduct and behaviour as a police officer both on and off duty. to adopt the Statement of Ethics on behalf of the Constables on Parade. On behalf of the new Constables, I am pleased to adopt this Statement of Ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders, and help those in need of assistance. At all times, I will carry out my duties without fear or favour, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. I will make every effort to respect and uphold the rights of all people in the community, regardless of race, social status or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavour to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I learn, may learn in my official capacity except as necessary in the course of my duties. I will practice self-discipline in word and deed, both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is improper or which can be construed as being improper. I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable Brooks. Senior Police Chaplain, Reverend Graham Ramston, will now offer the blessing. <coughs> Lord God, we know this through establishing process for justice, peace and good order, that a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon these newly graduated constables as they become sworn members of the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for their willingness to serve the community in this way 
and we are thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given while preparing themselves for the duties of being a police officer. We pray they may always exercise the powers of their office with responsibility and they may be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. Lord, empower these new officers with courage when they are confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Endow them with compassion when assisting those suffering and victimised. Grant them impartiality in enforcing the law and bless them with a willing graciousness to accept assistance when needed. Be present with these officers in the challenges of their new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know they have served with honour. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Ramsden. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Stewart will now address the parade. To our Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, the Honourable Jack Dempsey MP. Minister, thank you again for taking time out of your very busy schedule to be here this afternoon. Uh, I know it means a lot to all of us here at the Academy today. To our Chief Human Resource Officer, Public Safety Business Agency, Ms Patsy Jones. To Deputy Commissioner of Specialist Operations, Mr Ross Barnett, Deputy Commissioner of Strategy, Policy and Performance, Mr Steve Bolchewski. Our Acting Deputy Commissioner for Regional Operations, Mr Peter Martin. To uh, the representative of the Commissioner of the Queensland Ambulance Service, uh, Assistant Commissioner Peter Warriner. To Commander, Senior Naval Officer, South East Queensland, Mr Peter Tedman. Peter, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Lieutenant Colonel, representing Commander, 7th Brigade, Mr Ben Slaughter. Squadron Leader, representing Commander, Combat Support Group, Mr Brett Green. Our host today, Chief Superintendent Deb Platts, Executive Manager of Education and Training. To all of our commissioned officers, to Chaplain Ramsden, to all of our distinguished guests who are here today, and there are many of them. To police officers, my colleagues and staff members of the Queensland Police Service and members of the Public Safety Business Agency. To families and friends, but most importantly to our 94 newest officers on parade before you. Good afternoon. There is one other person that I uh, want to welcome, sort of, to this parade today. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Jay Steele, one of the constables on parade today, and his wife Kalina. Uh, they had their first child born last night at 5pm. And I'd like you to all uh, join with me welcoming Nixon Oliver Steele. And our best wishes go to Jay and uh, to Kalina and of course to Nixon. It's with great pride and pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to families and friends of our graduating officers who were appointed as first year constables during the ceremony today. It's certainly one of the four groups that I want to address uh, in my speech today, and that is uh, the family and friends. Your loved ones have taken on a, a difficult, complex, uh, but honourable career. Uh, they will have many years ahead of them, and they will be subject to many challenges, uh, many decisions that they will, hard decisions they'll have to make. And at the end of the day, they'll come home to you, uh, they'll talk to you, uh, over time, and I would hope that you will continue to provide the love and support that you have that has gotten them to this parade today. And I've only got to look around the audience here today to see the wonderful pride that family and friends have uh, in what's occurring right in front of them, their loved ones being sworn in to this great organisation. To our community representatives who are here today, and there are many, led of course by our Minister, can I ask you to continue your support for the Queensland Police Service? Uh, it is a, a job which is not a race, or not a quick race, but rather a marathon. And we need the community support to do our job every single day. So I ask the community representatives who are here today to continue with that support of our organisation. To all my colleagues who are in the audience today, all members of the Queensland Police Service and all members of the uh, larger public safety uh, portfolio, can I ask you to make sure that you continue to provide the leadership, the mentoring, the nurture that each one of these new officers will need so that they can reach their potential as police officers 
not on behalf of the Queensland Police Service, but on behalf of our entire community in this great state. So, as part of your duty, please take on that extra responsibility with this newest group of constables. And finally, to our newest constables who are standing here proudly before me, you have been inspired with high ideals and encouraged to achieve the very, very best in this honourable career. Your sense of duty, loyalty and service to all Queenslanders has already been enhanced and strengthened through the training course you've just completed. As Queensland's newest constables, you are well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead in your career as police officers. You should remember, you are now the public face of the Queensland Police Service, and I expect all our people to act with courage, fairness and pride. You should have the courage to always honour your oath of office and the statement of ethics that was adopted on your behalf by Constable Chris Brooks, who was the recipient of my Commissioner's Award. You should display fairness and be professional at all times, acting objectively and without bias. Remembering that every member of the public is to be treated with dignity and respect. Every interaction is an opportunity to build relationships and achieve a positive outcome. You should take pride and place a high value on teamwork, people, our performance and our partnership with our community. Policing, though, can be a dangerous job. You need to accept that there is always an element of risk in police work. You will need to remain vigilant to minimise that risk by avoiding complacency, staying alert and being aware. At various points in your career, you will all be physically, morally and intellectually challenged. Have no doubt that if you were not up to that challenge, you would not be standing here before me today. I am extremely confident that the future of policing is in good hands with constables that have graduated today. Let me conclude today by sincerely congratulating you all on your graduation. You follow in the footsteps of great officers who have set a very, very high standard of courage, fairness and pride. I am sure that you will add to our rich history. Thank you. Our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr. Jack Dempsey. Well, what a great day it is uh, to be here at the Oxley Police Academy, and uh, a great day to uh, to see 94 new recruits with a whole life ahead of them in the Queensland Police Service. Let me first acknowledge, obviously, Commissioner Ian Stewart and his wife Carol. Deputy Commissioners, Executive Members of the Queensland Police Service, other Commissioned Officers, as well as uh, uh, representatives from all the other armed services that we have here today, from the Police uh, Credit Union, the Police Union, the Police Commissioned Officers Union, the Retired Police Association, uh, Police Legacy, as well as uh, a number of other members from different community organisations that we have here today. Mums and dads, Peter Flexman and the Pipes and Drums, and young Michael and his carer that comes to every, uh, every uh, induction parade here at the Academy and always has a smile on his face for the recruits that uh, come before us today. To your loved ones, to your children here in the audience, anyone who I may have not have acknowledged, because the 94 recruits that we have to hear before you here today, all of these people are here because they believe in you and they want to see you succeed. They want to see you become the finest you can be as officers, not just for their family, but serving the people of Queensland. In the 80s, I had the privilege of going across this sacred acre, being sworn in here, and then leaving with a little Shetland pony called Laguna Flash and heading on to a career in the Queensland Police Service. And uh, just like you, I swore an oath to serve the people of Queensland without favour, affection, malice or ill will. And certainly no one gave me the power of hindsight or a crystal ball. And I left here, it's like you here today, with the same authority as your number one police officer, the Commissioner, to take away the rights and liberties of Queenslanders. And with that comes a great deal of responsibility on those sets of shoulders that we have here before us. 
but I know the training that you've got from your excellent instructors here, because I knew they flogged the hell out of me anyway when I was here, but apart from that, is I know that they've, they've moulded you into some great officers, and you are Queensland's finest. And here today, as the 94 recruits, you are a group of other recruits this year in the 150, 50th year of policing. And when we think of 150 years as a nation, we are a young nation, a young state. And as a police service 150 years ago, we came from very humble beginnings. And now we are leading the rest of the states and territories in this nation, as well as other police forces right around the whole of the world in the way that we lead with our technology as well as our legislation, but most importantly, the character, the professionalism, the ethics of the police officers that are inside those blue uniforms. Signs, symbols, traditions are what makes the Queensland Police Service strong now, but also stronger for the next 150 years ahead. So I thank each and every one of you for the challenges. It will be hard. You'll see the best of the best, and you'll see the worst of the worst what Queensland can put before you. But I know that the support that you'll get, whether it be from Graham, our police chaplain, or other members in our HR divisions, but most importantly from your, your parents, your friends, your family, your loved ones, that you'll get through things and see the, uh, the bright side of the, the day ahead. I do implore each and every one of you, before you go start that shift at the beginning of the day, that you never leave home in anger. Always finish whatever you need to do before you go to work. Your loved ones certainly will help you in that regard. But it's incumbent on you to ensure, to have that professionalism, to have that high standard when you go and serve the people of Queensland, that you're not just representing you and your family, you're representing all of the other police officers that came before you. And it is a difficult task. We know now we modern, you know, mediums, and social mediums and so forth, all your actions are, are recorded and scrutinised to the finest. But at the end of the day, as we all teach our young children, our young recruits, is to do the right thing. It's quite easy at times. You know when to do the right thing. The other thing you get taught in here is if you don't know the right thing, you shouldn't be here. But if you do ask someone, they'll soon tell you. So I certainly know that we've got 94 strong, committed police officers. I wish you all the best in the future. I thank your families and friends. And I say welcome to the Queensland Police family. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dempsey. The parade will now retire and reform. This movement involves the constables marching back in line advancing and conducting a dressing in preparation to perform the closing segment of the ceremony. ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with a general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and is given as a mark of respect to the Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, Commissioner of Police and members of the senior leadership team. Inspector Derek Carnes will now resume command of the parade.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Banner Party, accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums, will now march off parade to QPS 150. Will you please stand? Sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constables. This final gesture recognises the individual for displayed leadership throughout the training program. Constable Condon! And gentlemen, may I present to you the newest constables of the Queensland Police Service.
constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this afternoon. At the conclusion of the parade, please feel free to move onto the ground to congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues serving the people of Queensland. The parade host, Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy dining room. On behalf of the Commissioner and members of the Queensland Police Service, may I thank you for your attendance and wish you a safe journey home. Constable Condon will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. He will then dismiss the parade.